Hi there and welcome to the next in our series of tutorials as to how to use the WordPress price comparison plugin. In this brief video what we're going to be looking at is how you can set up the home page of your price comparison website. So this is the standard website that we're doing all of these demos on. It is shop.org that is spelt 5hop.org. Again if you haven't already looked at it take a look at it now so that you can see what we're talking about. As you can see this much of the theme here, the header, is absolutely standard 2010 theme that comes with WordPress 3. And then if you scroll down, this bit that says games is actually the post title. Um, and then underneath it, everything that you can see from here down is rendered by the plugin. So this breaks down into a couple of different sections, all of which are, are easily editable. The ones that we're going to cover today are the main ones, um, but just to give you a brief view of the topography of the page, we have the search box, which is here, that uh, is a complete product search. You have the categories and subcategories appearing in a box here on the left. Um, we've got a title, which you can edit easily in the templates. And then underneath that, we've got the interesting stuff. So. This first row that we have here are the brands that are contained within the feeds that we've imported. The next thing that we've got are featured categories for the home page and featured products for the home page. And what we're going to cover now is just how you can add brands, add featured categories and add and change featured products. So without further ado, let's quickly jump into the back end. Here we are again. We're going to scroll down. The first thing that we're going to look at is the products that appear on the home page. So if you come into this section, you're going to get presented with a series of boxes where you can type in which products that you want to appear. So I guess the first thing we should do now is quickly just have a look and find some products that we're going to add. So we'll have a look at the video games category and see what products we can come up with. Let's have a look. The first thing that we're going to add, I think, is this game here, 007 Nightfire, uh, the pre-owned edition. So we come into the homepage product screen, and what I'm going to start doing is just type in the product name that we've just seen. So 007, and there in the drop-down menu are all of the products that start with 007. So we're going to choose this one and add it, and now press save. And if we come back to the home page of the website, you will see that that should now be added. Let's just return to home. And we will scroll down. And there it is, added. It's as simple as that. Obviously, when you want to delete products, all you need to do is come back into here and delete them. And then press save. That is now saving into the database which ones you want. It has resorted them. If you want them to appear in a different order, all you need to do is set them up in the order that you want them to appear on this grid and then press save. And they will always be displayed in that way on this home page. If I just refresh this now, you'll see that the Energizer power play and charging system has disappeared. And it's been replaced with 007 Nightfire, the pre-owned edition. So there we go. That's how easy it is to define which products appear on your home page. Next thing that we're going to look at are these featured categories that appear. So let's come back into the plugin backend and we're going to choose the home page categories selector here. So let's just give this a second to load. These categories are powered by the categories that appear in all of the feeds that you've imported. So any categories that are on any of the feeds that you import will automatically appear in this list. You do not need to add your own categories. They're the ones that appear within the feeds. All you need to do if you want to include a category is feature it by pressing the tick here and you need to go into edit, or you preferably should go into edit, and save an image for it. If you don't save an image for it, it will appear anyway. So let's, I've just unselected video games, which has an image. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with mobile phones, which doesn't has an, doesn't have an image because you can see there's no, there's no preview of it there. So we're now going to save this. And if I come back to the homepage of the site now, 
and just do a quick refresh. What we should see is that we now have computers, DVDs and mobile phones. Mobile phones has no image, so it hasn't appeared there. But if we wanted to add an image to it, all we would need to do is go to the relevant category here, choose edit, and then all we need to do is, in the following screen, upload an image from your computer just by picking it. You can download images from the uh, from the merchants that you're providing the links to, or alternatively just go on Google Image Search. I mean, there's, uh, there's a million places where you can get them from. So that's how you set up the homepage categories. It's very nice and easy. What we're going to do is just go back into it and correct this to the way it was. So we're going to get rid of mobile phones and save video games again. Let's come back into here. Let's now check the home page is updated correctly. We should see computers, DVDs and video games. There we go. You can actually have as many feature categories as you want on the home page. I personally find that three or six makes sense, but again, it depends on the kind of templates that you've got. I've, uh, I've worked on a couple of websites where we've completely radically changed the uh, categories and you can fit dozens on the page if you wanted to. It's, it's just it's purely a design question. So the last thing that we have that we can select to make the site look better is this brand selector up here at the top. What this is, is all of the brands that appear within your feed. Um, this one does require a little bit more work because you have to dig up the, the logos for the brands yourself and assign them. But it does, it gives you a very nice effect here. It's, it's a very professional looking thing to do. So let's just come back into the back end and we're going to choose the brand manager. Now within the brand manager, we have pretty much the same as we had in the featured categories. We have all of the brands that appear and all that you need to do is go into the ones that you want to appear, press edit and then upload a logo. Any brands that you've uploaded a logo for will automatically appear in this list and will scroll infinitely until you reach the end. Well, that is how to quickly set up how you want the look and feel of your homepage with the standard templates to uh, to be displayed. Of course, when you're editing your own templates, you can change how everything appears. You can change where the featured categories go. You might have them appearing in your left-hand sidebar. You might decide to have them appearing as icons in your site navigation. There's, there's a million different things that you could do. So that's totally down to your imagination. And um, I will leave it at that. Thanks very much for listening.